Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about algebraic expressions. Let us learn how expressions are formed. So for that, first of all, let us see what is a constant and what is a variable. Constant is a symbol having fixed numerical value For example, say 21, minus 5, etc. Now, variable is a symbol which can take various numerical values. The value of a variable is not fixed. Now, variables are denoted by letters such as A, B, C, X, Y, P, etc. Now, let's see how algebraic expressions are formed. Algebraic expressions are formed by the combination of constants and variables connected by some or all of the four fundamental operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let us take an example. First of all, let us combine the constant 4, variable x and x by multiplication. So we get 4x squared. Now we will combine minus 7x and y by multiplication. So this will give us minus 7xy and lastly, let us take a constant, that is 11. And now, we will combine all these three parts by addition. So, we get 4x squared plus minus 7xy plus 11, which can also be written as 4x squared minus 7xy plus 11. So, this is an algebraic expression. But one thing that you must keep in mind that all these three parts separately are also algebraic expressions. Now, let's see what are the terms of an algebraic expression. Let us consider this algebraic expression that is 4x square minus 7xy plus 11. Here, we got this algebraic expression by adding three parts that is 4x square minus 7xy and 11. So, here all these three parts are the three terms of the given algebraic expression. Now here we cannot say that 7xy is a term of this algebraic expression because the sign along with the part is known as a term. So, minus 7xy is the term of this algebraic expression. Now, let's move on to factors of a term of algebraic expression. Again, we will consider the same algebraic expression that is 4x square minus 7xy plus 11. Here, the terms of this algebraic expression are 4x square minus 7xy and 11. Now, let us see the factors of first term. That will be 4x and x because we got 4x square by multiplying 4x and x. 
So these three are the factors of the term 4x square. Similarly, the factors of minus 7xy will be minus 7x and y. Now, 11 is a constant term because there are no literal factors along with it. That is, there are no variables. So, 11 is the only factor of this term. Next, let us see the coefficients of a term. Let us consider the same algebraic expression 4x square minus 7xy plus 11. Here, for the first term, that is 4x square, let us find the coefficient of this term. The factors of this term are 4x and x. Now, 4 is the numerical factor of this term. So, the numerical factor of the given term is known as the numerical coefficient of the term. Or simply coefficient of the term. Now, the coefficient of the term minus 7xy will be minus 7. Now, if we have a term, say xy, then the coefficient of this term will be 1 as xy can be written as 1 into xy. So, 1 is the numerical factor of this term. Similarly, if we have a term minus x square, then its coefficient will be minus 1 because we can write minus x square as minus 1 into x square. So here minus 1 is the numerical factor of the given term. Let us consider our term 4x square y. Here 4 is the coefficient of the term. And we can also say that 4 is the coefficient of x square y. That is the coefficient of the remaining factors. Similarly, if we want to find out the coefficient of 4x square, then that will be y. Also, if I want to find out the coefficient of 4y, then that will be equal to x square. That means we can say that a coefficient can be a numerical factor or an algebraic factor or maybe the product of two or more factors. Now let's see what are like and unlike terms. Like terms are the terms which have same algebraic factors and unlike terms are the terms which have different algebraic factors. Let's take an example. Suppose we have an algebraic expression 3pq plus 5p minus 11pq minus 4. Here in first term the algebraic factors, that is the variable factors, are p and q. In second term, the algebraic factor is p. In third term, the algebraic factors are p and q. And in fourth term, there is no algebraic factor. So here, the first term and third term, that is 3pq and minus 11pq, have same algebraic factors, that is p and q. So that means... 3pq and minus 11pq are like terms. 
Now let's see the unlike terms. Here 3PQ and 5P have different algebraic factors. So that means 3PQ and 5P are unlike terms. Similarly, 3PQ and minus 4 are unlike terms. Also, 5P and minus 4 are unlike terms. So in this way, we can find out like terms and unlike terms in a given algebraic expression. Now let us see what are monomials, binomials, trinomials and polynomials. An expression with only one term is known as a monomial. For example, 5x square minus 6a 11 etc. are all monomials. Now, expression with two unlike terms is called a binomial. For example, 3a plus 5bc, 21x square y plus 30xy square, p plus q, etc. are all binomials. Next, we have expression with three unlike terms. is called a trinomial. For example, 5x square plus 2x plus 1, a plus b plus c, etc. are trinomials. Lastly, we have polynomials, an expression with one or more terms is called a polynomial. That means polynomial is a general term used for algebraic expression. Here, monomials, binomials and trinomials are all included in polynomials. So, the examples of monomials, binomials and trinomials can be considered as the examples of polynomials. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.